Hello Internet, and welcome to my very first Amiibo unboxing video. Yay! Well, I have a lot of Amiibo, and, uh, or at least me and my brother do. I only have a, or my brother and I, excuse me. Uh, I only have a couple of them, most of them are his, but we have a lot together. And, uh, this is one we just got. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been unboxed. Uh, this is the, one of the only ones I haven't unboxed yet. I've been wanting to do Amiibo unboxing videos for a while. I see them on people's channels, like, uh, who does them? P2, Vision, obviously, uh, uh, Arlo, I don't know, a bunch of different people. Uh, and I always thought, you know what, that would be kind of cool, because give my, uh, ideas and comments on, on the different Amiibo and what I think of them and how that all works out. And, uh, today we have the Shovel Knight Amiibo, obviously. Uh, this is one of the rarer ones, and also, I think, the newest. Um... We were, my dad got this from uh, Nintendo World in New York, so that's where uh, that one came from. It's pretty lucky. Uh, Dawson just got one the other day. He found it at GameStop. We ran at the same time. We're like, no, I wanted that. Whatever. Got one now. Ha, huh, screw you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the box artwork is actually really nice. Uh, the purple looks well with the golden blue. Um, so only people over six can use this. Uh, okay. Um, I love the Shovel Knight logo, and the Shovel Knight, like, mask back here, and then the circle, or whatever is around it, is pretty cool. Uh, and the white backsplash with the Shovel Knight logo. Oh, there's a, sh oh, it's a shovel spade, I see that. Well, sh yeah, his face is on a shovel spade. Uh, so that actually works out really well, and it goes nicely with the, uh, bottom of the Amiibo, with the beautiful official Nintendo logo. And, uh, the back is pretty cool. Uh, so when you use this in the game, uh, you will get the ability to play multiplayer, at least on the Wii U. On the 3DS version, which, uh, you can use using a, uh, what are those called? NFC points? Uh, connect that to your N Nintendo DS or Nintendo 3DS, and, uh, you can get, unlock extra content and, content and levels and stuff, I think. Um, don't quote me on that. But in the Wii U version, you get to play as Shovel Knight, and the player 2 gets to play as Green Shovel Knight, and uh, that actually looks really fun. We don't have the Wii U Shovel Knight or the 3DS Shovel Knight, unfortunately. But hopefully we'll get in the Wii U version, because it's uh, that looks like a lot of fun. Normal Shovel Knight's pretty amazing by itself. I'm almost beating the game. Um, but also, you can level the Mevo up. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I don't... Okay. Uh, sure. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, the box is covered, so, uh, let's cover the inside. So, here he is on a stand in all his shovely glory. This is one of my favorite parts about unboxing Amiibo, is removing this part. Oh, that was stupid. Hard to hold the camera and do it, but taking the Amiibo and just sliding it out. That just, it just feels good. I know it's kind of pointless, but it just, just makes me feel like I've accomplished something. So, uh, yeah, let's get a close look at this. So, uh, here we have his head. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I think this may be made of a different material than the rest of the uh, Smash Amiibo, at least. And maybe the Animal Crossing, because it looks like a different texture. Like, you can sort of see the paint blended on his uh, little ring here. That I've never seen something like that on another Amiibo. But uh, the back of his head, not really got anything on it. Might as well just do his whole body here. Uh, his uh, arm plates are pretty cool. Once again, with the uh, little bit of paint blending on there, there's like blue on his uh, shoulder pad plate. Um, that's weird. I don't really know why it's like that. Um, but it's really good quality. It, you can just feel the, that it's been well made. Even the shovel, just is, even though it's thin, it just feels really solid. Um, as do all the Amiibo. Uh, his hand gripping the cool shovel there. Uh, I like how they did the shovel standing up. Because he doesn't really have any official artwork like all the Smash characters do. Which they're a reveal pose and then their Amiibo translated to that. So I think they did a pretty good cool job on his pose with the shovel in the ground and then the arm on the hip. Just pretty majestic. Uh, on the base we have the uh, shovel knight. Apparently the I guess that would be the logo. Uh, so there's a shovel spade and then his helmet like was on the box, uh, instead of the Smash logo, which is what they usually have. 
at least for the Smash Amiibo. That was kind of stupid, but uh, his feet are pretty tiny, actually. Uh, kneecaps for his non-existent knees. Um, a crotch cover, some side and hip covers. I don't know if you can hold stuff in that, but whatever. A really cool golden belt. I like how they, on at least everywhere on his design, just in general, uh, the golden around the edges of pretty much everything just kind of makes it outlined and pop out and stuff, and it's actually really nice. Uh, I really like his Viking horns. They're over the top and just stupid and just works well. Um, he's got no eyes. Okay, skip past that. And uh, he has some nice tight-ass cheeks and a great fist there. And... Uh, some tight back muscles too that's really defined through his armor wow okay one seems to be a little bit higher and deeper than the other but that's not that big of a deal uh so all in all this is a very high quality amiibo i obviously recommend getting this and all the other amiibo because it's something that just just works his what the heck his breastplate is really weird but <laughs> It's like sticking out spike. Huh. Yeah, but this is a great amiibo. Uh, recommend getting it. If you like Shovel Knight, if you want to check out the game, get the Wii U version. I have the Steam version, or the PC version currently, and that's great, but get the Wii U or 3DS version if you can, because you have amiibo access, and you can unlock multiplayer and extra content and stuff. And that's really awesome. And uh, just as a uh, reminder, the PS4 version and the... Xbox One version, each have different content. Uh, PS4, you can play either against or as Kratos from God of War, which is awesome. Like, Kratos is such a cool character. He's just badass as shit. And in the PS4, or the Xbox One version, excuse me, you can play a level against the Battletoads, which are, uh, what are their names? It's Zitz, Rash, and something else. I don't remember. But maybe Pimple or something like that. But those are the all the uh, Shovel Knight versions just sort of covered. Didn't really expect to be doing that, but I did anyway. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will be unboxing more, vid more videos. I will be unboxing more Amiibo and making more videos in the future. Thank you for watching. Peace out.